What are you talking about? I flat ironed this. This took two hours. <laughs> Hi, I'm GT Dave with GT's Kombucha. I'm here today with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth, founder of Purely Elizabeth. We're here to share some ideas on how to start a successful business, but doing it very scrappy style and using useful ideas that you can apply today right now. You know, when I first started my company, like you didn't have Instagram. I didn't have Instagram. <laughs> I barely had internet. I literally knew nothing and had nothing. I feel that actually saved me because it forced me to be scrappy. And you're forced to be more creative. You don't have to spend a lot of money to make a big impact. And I think if you stay on a specific path of keeping things simple, you don't need to conquer the world overnight. You know, just <laughs> conquer your neighborhood. Probably one of the most beneficial things was finding someone in the industry who knew all of that and really lead me from point A to point B. We make mistakes and you learn from them. I wanted to ask you, what do you think is the difference between starting a company today versus 20 years ago? Well, you'll probably be better at answering than 20 years ago. If you weren't, weren't a Coke or a Pepsi or a Kraft, you weren't living. So that now clearly has changed. I mean, nobody wants to say that they, you know, drink a Pepsi or they drink a Coke, those are like dinosaurs. Then you have the platform of social media, which, I mean, that's where the future of like advertising and interaction with the consumer is through that. And don't you think that that's what also makes it able for smaller businesses in our arena to really start and have a voice and you can compete against a yeah, Coke or a Pepsi? absolutely. Craft it in the right way, you will tap into an audience of hundreds of thousands, if not millions, and you couldn't do that 20 years ago. No. <laughs> yeah.